Hello everyone. I'm making bottom bouncers today for some of my customers. So I'm going to show you how I make my wire forms. I have a bunch of them made up already. This is what the final product is going to be. But I thought I'd show you how I put my snap swivels on the ends of it and tie the corners. I lit these bottom bouncers. This one here is a 3 ounce. I don't know if you can see the number that well. Camera today doesn't seem to want to autofocus very well. But we have to tie a loop into it on both the corner and the end. This bottom bouncer here that I'm having to make, this is my blank wire form is about four and a half inches long on the top and about 13 inches total length top to bottom. The wire that I'm using I get all my stuff online but you can generally pick these up at a lot of tackle stores is the Tournament Pro Grade Toothproof Stainless Steel Leader Wire. This batch here is 500 pound tensile strength. It comes in a one quarter pound spool. This spool is half used up already, but it comes pre spooled just like this. You can get many different sizes. I normally carry the 500 pound, 325 pound, which is this one here, and uh, 240 pound wire. The 240 pound wires generally are used for 3 8 ounce all the way up to about an ounce and a half bottom bouncer. The 325 pound wire can be used from a 1 ounce all the way up through the 3 ounce bottom bouncers. But my current customer he wants a heavier bottom bouncer. That way it doesn't uh, spring as easy. So I'm using the 500 pound wire and that can only be used in the 2 ounce up to 3 ounce bottom bouncers. So to start with, the tools that I have are a small pair of needle nose pliers. They work really well in getting the nice tight loops on the ends. A long handled pair of pliers. And these are just something that I had at work here. They're a little rusty but they work really well cutting this uh, stiff stainless steel wire. Just a pair of side cutters. And then I've also got made up here a special pair of pliers. I'll show you how I use them. But I have a notch cut here in the in the lip of the plier. And I'll try to get a picture of this and post it to the video as well. But this helps put a little bend in the wire and I'll show you that a little bit later. So to start with, I take my wire, I make sure I have about two feet of it hanging out. You can unspool the whole spool if you want to. I don't like having all that wire laying around the floor. So I leave about, it's about a good half inch, five eighths of an inch tail sticking out of the end of the needle nose pliers. And I loop that all the way around about 270 degrees so I have a nice little P-shaped loop in there. Then I'll grab one of my snap swivels put it up inside that loop so it won't get lost. Sorry about the malfunction there. Grab onto that little loop with my needle nose again. Take my regular pair of pliers and I'll twist this tail all the way around the wire. Try to get it as tight as I can. So that the loop does not get pulled out. So then I have a nice, nicely tied loop there. With my needle nose, I'll grab further down the line. So 
hard doing this working around a camera, you don't know. And I have one form here that I made up a while back. This is my pattern form. Customer wanted specific lengths, so I made one up for the specific length. And I just copy the same form over and over again. I don't have jigs set up to tie these off. I tie them all by hand. But I'll just copy the form and I'll grab the grab the wire and bend it around 270 degrees approximately. So I have a 90 degree corner here. And you can bend this out a little bit to get her to straighten out. In that corner loop, I grabbed that with my regular pliers and I twist it around to get a nice tight twist in it. I'll grab my pre made form again, just line them up for the length that I need, grab my side cutters, and cut it off. Pretty simple. And then after you cut off your bottom bouncer, I run my fingers down it, putting pressure on it so I can straighten that wire out. And straightening the wire out helps it sit in the bottom bouncer mold when you get ready to pour your lead on it. Then you don't have to fight it later on. So I'll go ahead and make one of these in real time without talking. Just so you can get an idea of how easy they are to make. They don't take much time at all. But from start to finish it takes about a minute and a half, two minutes at the most. And I do this right now, sitting in my living room on the couch. Just find a com comfortable spot to do it. The other night I sat down doing these, talking on the phone, watching TV. It doesn't take your mind off of much of anything. You can just sit there and crank them out. And straighten it out when you're done. And that's it. The wire itself is made. So my special pair of pliers, I said I would show you what those are for. When you make your forms, it's always a good idea to put a little bend in the middle of the wire. This wire is about 13 inches long, so I'm going to measure out about 6.5 inches, go right in the middle. And these pliers, all I do is just grab onto the wire and squeeze them. It bends the wire, so then I just straighten out the ends again real quick. It's real easy. If you can see that, it puts a little bend in it. So now I, now I have a little bend in the wire so that my lead weight does not slide off of the wire form. That way if you get it caught on a rock or something where you're fishing with these bottom bouncers, that weight, if the wire was straight, would slide right off of the wire. Having that little bend in there keeps it from sliding off. But I go, I make up a bunch of these ahead of time. Then I'll sit down and I'll start pouring lead on these. 
So I'll be making a future video when I get ready to start pouring. And you guys can all see how I do that process. Like I said, I do everything by hand here. I don't have the special jigs that you can use to twist the wires or bend them or anything like that. I guess you can call me a T-pass. But it doesn't take me any time. It's not hard to do at all. So there you have it, folks. Like I said, I sat down the other day and just made up a bunch of wires. This here, I like keeping track of them nine dozen wire forms that I made up yesterday. Of course yesterday was New Year's Eve day I didn't have to work so I figured why not? I got a bunch of them to make so I just as well start making them. Didn't take me any time at all. Real easy to make, my hands no problems with them whatsoever. So until next time when I start pouring my lead, happy fishing.